Hi, I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com Okay, let's draw. Okay, today's project is how to draw a bunny in an Easter egg. Take three fingers in the middle and put me a dot. And from that dot, we're going to draw a slightly wavy line going down. Come back to the dot, another slightly wavy line down. And let's connect the two. Come back up to the left and we're going to go big curve line up, over, connect on the left and a big curve line up over connect on the right. We're going to mimic that line by going back inside on the left curve line come back on the inside of the right curve line. Come right in the middle on the left one dot two dots and now we're going to draw a curve line down Curve line over, curve line up, connect. In the center, straight line down, curve to the left, straight line down, curve to the right. In the middle, one, two, three straight lines, and a straight line right down the center. Come up and go one, two, three straight lines on the right, one, two straight lines on the left. Come over here on the left hand side and draw me a slightly curved line down on the left and a slightly curved line down on the right. Come back over to this corner and I'm going to draw wavy, 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 keep going, wavy line all the way up. I come back on the left and I draw a curved line down, curved line up, connect. Now my little floating lines I can now bring down and connect. Now's the fun part. I can draw wavy lines. I can draw circles. I can draw straight lines. I can draw any kind of line I want to decorate the bottom part of my Easter egg. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. And there we have bunny inside an Easter egg. Okay, now I'm ready to color. So I'm going to use pink on the inside of my ears, pink little nose. An important part to color is the inside part of the egg. That's these two little sections on the left and the right of the bunny. Once you've done that, then you can really just do any color combos that you want. You can use your turquoise, fill in with some orange, anything that helps your Easter egg pop. Now what I like to do is once I'm done, I can cut them out and use them for a variety of ways. But let's get them colored first. This is my finished bunny all colored in, ready for Easter. You can cut them out and make them into a placeholder for a table. You can just make him part of your decorations, but he's very cute. Okay, bye-bye.